Hi guys, welcome back. I'm Subscription Goddess. My name is Emily, owner of Happily Ever Hardy Oils. Today I'm doing an unboxing, well, kind of slash review for you guys. It's a box that I've been getting for a while now, and then I skipped it for two months because the boxes were getting kind of bad, and the, I wasn't getting any, like, sorry, I'm just going to readjust the camera. I wasn't getting, like, items that I felt were useful or worth the money, so I skipped two months. And then, um, this is January's box, so it's my first time getting it back after two months, and I think I'm just going to cancel it all together, because it's even gotten worse. It did not get better. Um, this is the Texas Witch Box, Kay's Magic Box, um, they they have two names, it's the same thing. You can also check out Miss Angel from Engineering Magic. She had the Texas Witch Box for December, and she is also not pleased with hers anymore as well. So we've noticed they've been like giving you really cheap products lately and like hiking up the price to make it look like your box is worth it. I get the $50 box and let me tell you what I got right here right now is nowhere near worth $50. I could buy it cheaper on my own. So I am very unhappy with this box. I don't even have it in the box right now because I unboxed it and I'm just really unhappy with what's in here. So I just wanted to show you guys so that if you are getting that subscription, you can cancel it or like don't sign up for it if you haven't and you were thinking about it because it is not worth it. Um, with Sugar Muses or Witch's Moon, they are the same price as what I pay for this extra large uh, Texas Witch Box, $50, and I get beautiful artworks for my walls, a big main piece, herbs, oils, bath soaps. I get a lot of really nice, qu high quality things as well for the price that I pay for this box right here. All right, so where should we start? We'll start here with this piece of stone. Sorry, I know my camera is really bad at showing stones. They claim this is a unikite stone for $4. This is not unikite. Raw unikite is green and pink and maybe a little bit of black. This is just pink and black stripe. It's like a regular piece of granite you can find outside. It's not even unikite. Um, next, we have this that they say is bloodstone for $4. This little tumble is $0.99 cent at my local metaphysical shop for a bloodstone. And I don't even think this is bloodstone because there's no red on it and it's the wrong color green to be bloodstone. And that's not worth $4. And then we have this carved heart, which they are calling Jade. Oh, I'm trying to show it to you. Jade is not that sheer or see-through. This is maybe like a light green adventuring. This is not Jade. And you see the size of that heart. They are saying... This heart is worth $12. We'll back it up so you can read $12 for this little carved heart that's not even jade. Absolutely not. Like, this is why I'm really upset with this box, you guys. I'm usually, I usually never complain about any of my boxes. You've, if you've watched my videos, you know I've never really complained, but this is just getting ridiculous. Then they gave um, Nog Champa incense cones. That they said are worth three dollars. You can get Nag Champa backflow cones from Walmart for ninety nine cents. And then there's this fresh mugwort bundle. It's a medium size, fifteen dollars. I mean that's not too too bad of a price, seeing how it's mugwort. So this bundle may be a good value, but to make up for all this other stuff. That had a price inflation on it for the box. We need a bigger bundle than that. Uh, and then this right here actually counted as one of the items. This little weird drawstringy baggy, a dollar, a dollar seventy five. This was one of the items for the box. Um, let's see. Okay, and then there's these temporary tattoos that say inhale, exhale for five dollars in the box do i look like i get a witch box for temporary tattoos no i want altar supplies herbs oils stuff i can use in my candles <laughs> like it's just crazy the stuff they're starting to put in these boxes next there's this brass pentacle altar bell Bye. They say it's worth $18. I'm not sure on the quality of it. It doesn't look 
too high quality it might be i'm not very sure but this is my first altar bell i don't have one so this is pretty cool to actually get an altar bell that's about one of the only things i like out of this box um and then next on the list is this love's enchantment votive candle that they say is four dollars and fifty cent this candle is not four dollars and fifty cent I buy these candles all the time from my local medical metaphysical shop called The Bookshelf. These candles are $2.75. I use them all the time. I have the Happy Home one. I have the Love's Enchantment. And it's the same uh, Coventry Creations Incorporated. It's the same company. And it's only $2.75 for these candles. Not for $50. And then the next thing on here is this adult coloring book called fairy garden adult coloring coloring book but it says fantasy garden on this thing i don't i don't get a witch box to color i get a witch box to do a ritual or a spell or make a candle or make an apothecary product not to color and then last and, and definitely least in this box is these Beauty Kitchen eye gels. They said are $6. Just a single pack of eye gels. Again, I don't get a witch box to put eye gels on my face. It's not what I wanted. This has nothing to do with Texas witch. Nothing. This is not. No. This is now like one of the worst rated witchy boxes, I would say, in my opinion. I do not think it's worth it at all. You just saw $50 worth of stuff there, guys, when in all reality, we all know we could buy it for way less than $50 if we went to the store ourselves. So I do not suggest Case Magic slash Texas Witch Box. You can go watch Miss Angel. Again, you can go watch Miss Angel on Engineering Magic and see her review as well of this box. Well, it's the December box, but same company. But you guys, anyway, you guys, thanks for listening to me rant. And sorry I'm all, like, ah, twitchy and all over the place. I'm just agitated and, like, anxious now because, like, to me, I feel like this was a huge waste of money. I could have been getting another better box with that money. But lesson learned. But anyway, you guys, have a blessed and magical rest of your day. Bye.